I think society have misconstrued a black sheep for a bad apple. It is very good to be a black sheep. Listen to me and I'll back it up. I think society have misconstrued a black sheep for a bad apple. Two different things. A black sheep, a bad apple. Who is the black sheep? Where did the term black sheep really come from? Who labels who a black sheep? You see, this is it. A black sheep is someone that is society rejected because they were different. Not because they were bad. Let me take, let me give you for example, in the wool industry, we have the white sheep and the black sheep. And when you make cotton, what do you use? You need the white wool to make cotton. You cannot use the black one. Now the sheep is still good. It's still a sheep, but just because you rejected the color of its wool, then you casted it out and referred to it as the black sheep, which means it doesn't belong to the wool industry or the sheep doesn't produce what you like. But it doesn't mean the sheep is a bad sheep. It's just a black sheep because society rejected the black sheep because the black sheep didn't fit into the criteria or the characteristics of the other sheep that they prefer. Now, that's who the black sheep is. A black sheep can still be successful. A black sheep, in fact, are entrepreneurs. A black sheep is someone who has the grit and toughness to battle adversity, to go through trials and tribulation and overcome things. A black sheep does not people please. A black sheep does not follow the crowd. They stand out. They are different. You can, you can spot it like, wow, this person stands out. For example, in the US economy, I think we have only 1% investor and 4% and business owners. It takes a lot of stress and grit to build a business, to be an entrepreneur. There is very few entrepreneurs in America. Those people are black sheep. They go through a lot to create opportunities for themselves and others. Now, the black sheep, it's not a bunch of them. They are very few black sheep. People who are willing to go through trials and tribulation and tough times to stand out. Now, a bad apple, a bad apple is not a black sheep. A bad apple does not uh, do something positive in the society. A bad apple doesn't empower people. A bad apple does not have good intentions for themselves or others. A bad apple is someone who will fail themselves and fail the society because they chose to go down the wrong path. Not because society casted them out, but because they chose to go down the wrong path. That is a bad apple. There is a black sheep casted by society for being different and there is a black, bad apple who failed themselves. Not because they were casted by society as the bad apple, a bad apple failed itself. He or she failed himself based on the daily choices they make. So sometimes when you call yourself a black sheep, people might try and correlate a black sheep and a bad apple. Two different things. It's good to be a black sheep. It's good to be unique. Why do you want to fit in? Why do you want to blend in with others? Be proud of it. Be proud for standing out to your friend group. Be proud for standing against peer pressure. Be proud for saying no to every opportunity that is being presented. You should choose. Pick and choose which one you want. Don't say yes to everything. Say, you know what? No, I'm not interested. Thank you. Oh man. He thinks it's too cool. Oh, she thinks it's too cool for us. Oh yeah, because I have standard. If you think I'm too cool for you because I have standards, so be it. 
I'm a black sheep. I have standards for myself. And you should too. Why don't you have standards for yourself? A black sheep is successful. They fail and fail and fail, then they become successful. A bad apple has failed. Like, bad ending, pretty much. Like a, a destructive ending. They don't only destroy themselves, they destroy everything else around them. They give their family's legacy a bad name. See, a black sheep might be casted away by the society or by its family, or they might be labeled a black sheep, but they bring glory, they bring praise, they bring they bring high words of affirmation to the family. They bring good they bring good recognition to the family's name. The family might initially have been disappointed by calling them the black sheep, but the black sheep knew it's destined for greatness and flips the narrative and ends up shining bright like a diamond. It goes through a lot just to just to get to, to a level, keep climbing, keep traveling down the path, the road less traveled. That's where a black sheep is. See, a black sheep wakes up every morning and understands their responsibility. They understand what they must do. They don't wait to be told what to do. They are action takers. They don't just talk, they do. They act. They understand what must be done and they begin to activate and they begin to capitalize. So when you tell your friend or your parent or, or, or anyone that you're a black sheep, you know, if, if they have any any cloud judgment because most times they might think oh black sheep cast it out yeah society casted me out but but god chose me because society casted me out because i don't fit in into your society society views doesn't mean i'm not chosen by god i stand out and i'm not a bad apple because i am not going to fail fail my bloodline I'm not gonna fail my legacy and I, I'm doing I'm taking actions that that's gonna help me move in the right direction every day it doesn't mean every actions will be perfect yeah you will make some mistakes but as long as you try to be better every day you try to better yourself try to make good choices every single day you'll be on your you'll be on your way I hope I've explained clearly the difference between a black sheep and a bad apple there's still a lot of people out there that will think black sheep and bad apple is the same yeah they are both casted out but for different reasons the black sheep was casted out just because it did not fit in because the characteristics did not fit in and it's not willing to blend into the standards of what they might call the norm you know the norms in the society the black sheep is not willing to follow the norm it wants to stand out and be extraordinary however a bad apple was not casted out by the society because they don't fit in the characteristics a bad apple is actually initially embraced by the society but then they failed the society then they were casted as the bad apple because of their actions. The black sheep wasn't casted, casted out by its actions. It was casted out by its characteristics. A bad apple is casted out for its actions. Not its characteristics. What has been done. The damage has been done. The shame that it has brought to the society. And they say a bad apple doesn't fall far from the tree. But if 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 I were you, I, I wouldn't be too worried about the tree, really, that that I that the, that the bad apple fell from. I would tell the bad apple look itself in the mirror. 
Because at the end of the day, you chose. It's a choice. You chose to go down the wrong path. Own your own mistakes. Own your own choices. Don't give in to peer pressure. Own your actions. Don't point fingers and say, you know what, oh yeah, the bad apple didn't fall far from the tree. That might be true. But then, if you recognize the problem, you can also try and find solutions. I hope this was a good um, conversation for y'all. I hope you guys can uh, absorb it. You, you know, if, if I said anything too fast, I want you to watch the video again and, and understand the difference between a bad apple and a black sheep. Please uh, subscribe, share it to your friends so they can help the channel grow. And leave in the comment section, engage with me, let me know what's going on. If you have any topic you would like me to discuss, um, or any questions, you can follow me on Instagram. The Nigerian Carpet Viper is my personal. Or you can follow the page Black Sheep Eulogy on Instagram and TikTok as well. I'll be back with another topic. I'll see you soon, Black Sheep.